Now let's continue our desert tour and head to Phoenix, Arizona, where mechanical artist Mike Ferguson is transforming your basic bar stool from mild to wild. Say hello to our friends, Big Chicken Hot Rods. My name's Mike Ferguson, I'm owner and fabricator at Big Chicken Hot Rods. I'm a mechanical artist, I'm a hot rod shop owner. Um, I'm a guy that likes to make cool things. About 15 years ago, a buddy of mine and I started Big Chicken Bar Stools, and we went into business to build bar stools as pit equipment for the racetrack. Ended up not being able to write professional bar stool racer on the tax return like for forever. Yet a few years back, I had the, the chance to start a shop again, and uh, I knew I'd be building some more bar stools, and I. I liked the name. I liked the the way that it stuck, and uh, Big Chicken Hot Rods is my shop where I, instead of I'm trying to just chase markets, I'm I'm building stuff that sort of feeds my soul. I do consider myself an artist. It feels good at the end of the day when, when what you had in your mind comes together after 15 or 20 or 30 steps of and, 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 and you end up with the physical vision of what you thought of earlier in the day or the day before or the day before that. The time frame on building one really depends on what's ordered. Like if it's one of my standard models, it's usually about four to six weeks from, from the time someone orders one to the time I'm delivering it. I've built over 300 of them thus far. The, the second series started probably about two and a half years ago, and we've been refining the steering, refining in the way we go about it to where they're a lot uh, more refined than the, the first, first ones we did about 15 years ago. Lately, I've been getting a lot more custom orders, and you know, some of them can take three, four months for me to, to get done as we're heading in headlights and horns and turn signals and custom paint and anodizing and chroming things. It really just kind of depends on what's ordered as to, to how long it takes me to get it done. We've built five of them that we've geared to run 90 miles an hour. It's going to be a handful. It's going to be exceptionally responsive, both in accelerating and stopping. It's gonna be fun, I think, too. I have some standard models, and there's there's a lot of them out there that are the same color, same model, and, and same details. Not so much anymore. Nowadays, most of the orders I get are for a lot more custom, a lot more detailed. We, we kind of build whatever whatever anybody wants, and, and lately we've been getting requests for more elaborate toys. I have more of these I want to make. I have a couple more I want to make for myself. Um, but it's something I'm not done with yet. <laughs> 